Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. For returning viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Welcome back! For new viewers out there, welcome to the channel. My name is Jane and in this channel, we talk about fragrances. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I have a very short video today about a rediscovery of this classic. This classic scent that I loved smelling many, many, many years ago and still find myself drawn to this scent up to this day. I'm talking about this 40-year-old perfume from Body Shop called White Musk. So I have here the Body Mist version and this comes in different formulations now I believe. There's a perfume oil, there's an Eau de Parfum, there's an Eau de Toilette, and of course this Body Mist formulation and all other body products to go with the perfume. For some of us, or most of us, this was the scent of our younger years, the scent of our teenage years. In my case, this was the signature scent of a very good friend in graduate school. Shout out to Amy if you're watching. So White Mask has three flankers to date. I pick up one that's available in store and I will talk about it a little about it later in this video. I picked up this bottle from a rewards card recently and I was actually reminded of how pretty this scent is particularly in the dry down and the lingering scent on skin. This was created in 1981 and this fragrance is 40 years old this year. This is your basic powdery clean white mask but velvety and sexy at the same time. This is a big compliment getter. It never fails to garner compliments every single time. So, um, since this is a white mask, there's truly mask in the opening, mask in the middle, and mask in the dry down. But what I love about this scent is that it has a very quiet floral undertone. If you want to smell a little florally but not quite, this is it. There's a lot of floral thrown into this perfume but none of them screams at you. In fact, I can't for the life of me pick out a specific and distinct floral note except for maybe iris. You know, you just know it's floral. There's a certain thickness to this perfume, maybe from the powdery facet. The powderiness is not the talcum baby powder type, but more of a clean, laundry, um, velvety type of powderiness. I don't know, it's more of a texture I perceive rather than a powdery scent per se. I'm very much contented with the mist version. I don't think I need the more concentrated one in this weather. This can last long if sprayed on fabric or clothing, but you never really, you won't really mind respraying this to top up the entire day. Number one, this is very, very cheap, very, very affordable. Number two, it's very, very pleasant. You kind of want to reapply to repeat the sensory experience. This is great after shower scent, great as a scent to spray when you're staying at home, or um, also a great white t-shirt, ripped jeans kind of perfume for a casual day out for maybe running errands or shopping. This will do well in any season in my honest opinion. I also don't think that this smells dated as, as some would say. Comparing this to Narciso Pure Mask, which I have over here, uh, which is also a clean white um, musk type of scent. Narciso is less thick, less velvety, and less fluffy, clean white musk. It's also a lot sweeter in my opinion, but more transparent and airy. If you want a more updated millennial type of white mask, something that's not, doesn't have, doesn't give you um, an illusion of thickness or powderiness, this one is for you. You will likely vibe more with Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk. But I like them both to keep full bottles of both of these perfumes. So what I picked up in store out of the three flankers is this one called White Mask Low, coming in this light apple green kind of liquid. I also have this in the Body Mist, Fragrance Mist um, formulation. I got this for 50% off retail in store. So White Mask OG, while White Mask OG is powdery clean, this one leans soapy clean. This has pear in the opening, lily of the valley, jasmine and rose in the middle, and mask in the base. This is more of a fruity floral scent, drying down to a soapy musk. I believe this was following the fruity floral musk trend of the late 2010s as this came out in 2017. I mostly get a fresh fruity pear scent plus 
white florals, predominantly lily of the valley in this. If you're worried that this is sweet, I would say nope, this is okay. In fact, Narciso Pure Musk is even sweeter than this one. For the fruity white floral lovers out there, you're going to love this scent. This is clean, simple, pleasant, easy to wear for hot summer days. This is going to be a staple. So that's White Musk Low from the Body Shop. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video of rediscovering an old classic. So, uh, the other two flankers which I smelled in store, I didn't really care for them. There's one called White Musk Flora, which is a rose peony flanker. I don't really need another rose perfume in my collection. The other one is called Black Musk, which I didn't really care for either. So, these two that I picked up will be in rotation for the rest of the hot, hotter days of April and May. So, I thank you guys for joining me today. Comment down below if you have a favorite body shop mist, perfume, perfume oil, or whatever concentration you prefer. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the red bell icon to be notified of future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!